What up, y'all? Franchise Sports TV back again with another video. Try something new. Try to make a video off StreamYard. But so in these playoffs so far, probably even can mention last year's playoffs, but particularly this year's playoffs, especially with the Denver Nuggets. Yes, Nikola Jokic. He's amazing. He cooked. Rudy Gobert, three the hard way in game five, right? Jamal Murray, he hasn't been playing his best, but he's been there. He was crucial in some games so far um, in this series. But Aaron Gordon, he's been very crucial, especially in game four when he had 27 points. People are saying he looked like Kobe out there. This game... He had 18 points, but he did the little things. He did the little things that matter, like cutting to the basket, always being open, hustling to get the offensive rebound, playing defense at Anthony Edwards, doing all the little stuff that actually matters. And I'm like, damn, that's what the Bucks need. They need an athletic wing like that. Somebody who does everything that Aaron Gordon does. And I'm thinking, like, how long has Aaron Gordon been in the league? That was another question. Because I know he was on Orlando for the longest time, but I said he has to be getting close to 30. So, he'll be 29 in August. I think 29 in the summertime, right? So, he's getting up there. But he's still athletic as hell. Just because you turn 30 don't mean you just turn old and you just drop off all your athleticness. No, that don't happen that way. But I also wanted to see the 2014 draft, right? 2014 draft was a draft that was packed, loaded with a lot of people we see now still playing. One of them being Joel Embiid. The other one being Aaron Gordon's teammate right now, Nikola Jokic, drafted in the second round. Nobody thought about what he can possibly do. But I looked at the draft again because I wanted to look at the order. And here's what I absolutely found. So I scroll down here. Let me, is it up on the screen? I don't think it's up on the screen right now. Let me put it on the screen. Look at this, y'all. Look at this. So let me slow move it down here right quick. So as we all know, I got to go too much. As we all know, the first pick in the draft of the 2014 was Andrew Wiggins. Some people think he was a bust. Uh, I guess he panned out somewhat. He became an all-star. No all NBA team became an all-star, and he got a ring. Traded around from Cleveland instantly because LeBron wanted his way. Traded to Minnesota Timberwolves. Well, he had a lengthy career there, but he really didn't take off until he went to Golden State. Got himself one all-star nod and a ring, and it's fell off since. Number two pick in the NBA draft, the Milwaukee Bucks select Jabari Parker. Number three pick, overall pick in the 2014 NBA draft out of Cameroon slash Kansas, Philadelphia 76ers select Joel Embiid. Yeah. yeah. Fourth overall pick in the 2014 draft, the Orlando Magic pick Aaron Gordon, freshman out of Arizona. Now, I'm going to stop right there because I ain't going to talk about Dante Exum, even though he is still in the league now in Dallas. So, like I just said, the Bucs need an athletic wing right now, right? I know this seems kind of far-fetched and out there. You think about it in hindsight now. Bucks chose Jabari Parker. Where is Jabari Parker at right now? Right now, he's in playing for FC Barcelona overseas. So he's still playing. But he had his four year stint in Milwaukee, bogged down by injuries to his knees, not knee, towards ACLs. Went to Chicago, Washington. 
Hawks, Kings, Celtics, and now I playing in FC Barcelona. Great. Age 29. When the Bucks drafted Jabari Parker, many people, including myself, thought Jabari Parker was going to be a game changer, a, a franchise changer. We thought he was going to be the star, the all-star, the Hall of Famer that was going to be. We thought all of that with Jabari Parker. <laughs> we were wrong. No, the franchise changer, the Hall of Famer, the, 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 the lifetime player that changed the franchise. No, he was drafted the year before, number 14 or 15, whatever one he was. And nobody thought the lesser of him. Nobody thought anything about him until now. And that was one Giannis and Tim Tecupo. See, what really made the Bucks and what we know now was the summer of 2013 when it was traded, Brandon Jennings was traded for Chris Middleton and um, Giannis was drafted. That was the changer. Not Jabari Parker, but I just can't help to see that looking back in hindsight, the books could have had Aaron Gordon. Now, as I say, maybe they didn't keep him. Maybe they traded him, but maybe they did, did keep him. Bucks would have got drafted Aaron Gordon instead. They would have Aaron Gordon and Giannis. Yeah, they played the same position. But they could have managed. Jabari Park and Giannis played the same position. But then again, Aaron Gordon works because Jokic. But yeah, it sucks. The Bucks could have had anybody. Not even just Aaron Gordon. They could have had Marcus Smart. They could have had. Let's look down this list. Who's still in the lead? I don't know about Zach Levine. I don't like Zach Levine. They could have had Joel Embiid, but eh. shoot, they could have had Clint Capella. They could have had Brogdon Ivanovich already. They tried to get him off season twenty twenty, but that didn't work. They lost out on that because it was, I guess, meddling. I don't know about Kyle Anderson. Never Spencer Dinwiddie. Could he have Jeremy Grant? He could have helped. He's making numbers uh, this past season. Maybe they could have had Nikola Jokic. Probably not. Probably never worked out. But then again, just bear with me right quick. Just bear with me. Imagine a team with Nikola Jokic and Giannis. Yeah, they had to pay him a lot of money. But imagine that team not knowing what he was going to get with Nikola Jokic and Giannis, and he just so happened to have both of them on the team playing. Yeah, that's crazy. That's nasty work on the league. But just having someone like an Aaron Gordon right now will help Giannis tremendously, help the team tremendously defensive-wise. Therefore, Giannis don't have to do everything. That's my point of making this video. They had somebody like that. Even if Jabari Parker just panned out and didn't have not need us towards ACLs. Things probably might be different for them right now. Yes, they got one ring out of it. But we want more than one ring in Milwaukee. I ain't living in Milwaukee right now, but we want more than one ring. When you have a talent such as Giannis, despite what people think, oh, he can't shoot, but he has somebody like that on your team. Somebody who can change the um, fortune of your team just like that. You got to have put the right pieces around him. Right now, he does not have the right stuff around him. Everybody's just too old. But that'll be their mission in the summertime, in the offseason, to find something that fits better than what they have. Because right now, Nikola Jokic is knocking his ass out of the water as far as best foreign player ever. Even though I think Jokic got one more thing he needs to do before he, he even gets put above Dirk Nowinski. Because you look at Dirk Nowinski's career, 
he didn't really play with all these all stars. Um, when he won that ring, that one ring that he got, he he was the only all star. Jason Kidd was pretty much at the end of his career, and everyone else was just two, three time sub. I wouldn't say subpar, but fringe all stars on that team, and they won it, beating that super sucky. No, I can't even say it was a sucky ass super team. It was a great super team. There was just one player on that team that didn't um, hold his end of the bargain because um, he can't read defense and he's not as good as everybody thinks he is. But we ain't gonna say no names of who that was. But it's unfortunate that Jabari Parker's career didn't turn out the way everybody hoped. And if it did, maybe we'll be talking something different. Maybe we'll be talking. Uh, shoot. Jabari Parker turned out to be something close to Aaron Gordon or something close to being a second good uh, all-star next to Giannis, along with Chris Middleton. We ain't talk about Boston no more. But it is what it is. Can't go. Can't get a DeLorean, go back to the future. I mean, back to the future. Can't get a DeLorean, go back to the past and tell uh, whoever. I forgot who was making the decisions back with the books back then and tell them, I need to tell you about your future. Don't pick uh, Jabari Parker. His knee's going to go out. Pick someone else like Aaron Gordon. Too late for that. But anyways, that's just my opinion. I'm just sitting here just burning up, just watching Aaron Gordon make dividends, helping Jokic probably win a second championship uh, while Giannis sits at home and, yeah, sitting at home when we got to deal, Bucks fans got to deal with this crap, watching Denver be successful. I always thought the Bucks would be the new version of San Antonio, the San Antonio Spurs. Well, I was wrong. We're looking at it right now. Denver Nuggets. But anyways, tell me what you guys think.